experience in Mead. There's plenty of events and activities right around the country to keep everyone in the family entertained. And Damien O'Neill has done all of the research for us from funforall.ie and he joins us now with lots of ideas, regardless of where you are in the exactly. country. Exactly, yeah, all over um, the place. Damien, we'll go straight into it so we can get through as many as possible. And okay. um, we're going to Claire first okay. for something very cool. Yeah, I love this. Atlantic Air Venture. Um, it's, it's a tr I suppose it's a, an aircraft training centre, really, okay. um, and they have simulators there. But for Christmas, they create three different Santa experiences. Um, so the first one is for, for the younger kids. It's just a, a Santa visit in the cockpit of a plane. It's a BAE um, uh, plane where the kids go up the steps into the cockpit. The, the man himself, is Captain Claus, is sitting out there at the controls. We'll give them a quick run through of the plane, what's it all about, and uh, they get a little oh, gift. Look, you get a little uh, shot at it yourself. Yeah. So wow. that's and that's the next one. So that's that one is fifteen euros. The next one then it's one up from that. You join this a simulator class if you like, and there's six or seven kids in a room, and they're all at the controls of the simulator, and they're on there. They're trying to find Santa's runway. Um, wow. So, it's so that's for a slightly older kids. Slightly is it? older, and then one step up again for forty-five euros. This one's an hour long. So you get the obviously you get the Christmas the visit to Santa plus the gift, and then you get ten minutes in the simulator on your own on a at a 737 where you're going to try and land and wait for it, Lapland International Airport. Wow! Uh, I just think this is so cool. Wow! Um, and you know this is really kind of different to every other Santa yeah, exactly, experience. You know, this has a different edge to it, doesn't it? And you know that's a memory that they're yeah. always going to remember. Um, now the, the Atlantic Air Venture they have different age groups that they'll cater for. So. You know, under fives, this little um, outdoor area as well. The mini mini planes that they can pedal around in. Brilliant. Okay, so, so they've thought of everyone all the way up. Um, but so I just that's in this Shannon good, in you know. County Clare, mm -hmm. um, and all of the details on your website yes. and all of the dates and, and yeah, exactly. details there. So it's on most weekends. Brilliant. Uh, jumping to Waterford, Winterville has, b has Winterville. become bigger and yeah. bigger every year, yeah. hasn't um, it? Every year it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, so Winterville is on um, from now till uh, I think it's the 23rd of December. And what, the, what it is, it's a basically a Christmas festival, but there's, there's 25 events and 17 of those are free. Okay, so families with young kids will think, great, let's get into Waterford and see what's going on. So from light shows to 3D, 3D displays, um, Santa sleighs, um, uh, cinema screenings, you know, you can go and see Frozen for free. If you haven't seen it ten times already, <laughs> um, if you can put so, up with it again, yeah, exactly. And they've got this other cool. Again, I just think it's really good. It's a, a singing Christmas tree, so it's a Christmas tree that those choirs go into. Oh, brilliant! And, um, They're it's inside a, it's it. Just, it just and adds gorgeous to it. Christmas markets for all so the there's, there's shopping lovers. So there's sixty different log cabins specially designed for Winterville. Um, so there's all kinds of different things to do and see and buy and eat. Um, of course, so, yeah, and, you know, and buy local presents and crafts. Exactly, and you know, and then you know into the city itself, and it's all. It's all really nice in the way we put together. And as I said, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. It is, yeah. Um, they're doing something right in <laughs> Waterford City. Um, Wexford, the Kiora Mini Farm. I'd never heard of this. Okay, Kiora Mini Farm is actually uh, just outside Gorey. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the guys do every year, and again, this one gets better and better and bigger and bigger as well, more and more lights. Um, but it's, it's, okay, it's an open farm, but it's an open farm with a difference. So they've built on a village. So just essentially you go and see where the elves live, what their post office looks like. There's a lovely Santa visitor experience. That, and that's the inside bit. And then outside, they've got these adapted mini diggers. And any boy or girl or mom or even dad would love these. They're real mini diggers. They're adapted. They don't move, but they're, you actually get to use them. Oh, and learn I've how to seen do it. this in Leahy's open farm, yeah, actually. Yeah. So it's something so similar it's where you can lift the gravel and yeah, drop yeah, it in another spot. You know, and it's great fun. Kids just adapt to it so quickly. The adults are a little bit traumatized with the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, kids are brilliant at it. Yeah. And then they've got the go-kart track and um, a fire engine. You get on the fire engine, go up around the farm and... You watch Christmas carols in there. It's just, it's just really Gorgeous. magical, you know. And you know, loads of the very obvious Santas are sold out. Mm -hmm. The Santa experiences. Yeah. So if you're in the area, this this would be a lovely Abs one to absolutely. do. Absolutely, you know. Uh, so that's a nice one to do. What about Mellow's Santa experience? Mellow's this is in Mead. Mead, yeah, in that boy. This is a slightly different age group. Um, so younger kids, right up, I suppose. Okay. Um, so it's again. Um, so much e um, effort has gone into preparation for this. It's 40,000 Christmas lights, I'm reliably told. Wow. Uh, lots of handcrafted wooden toys. Um, but basically what, how this one works is two hours. Um, and it's, it's 30 families max for two hours. So you get, 
you know, there's no mad queuing or anything like that. Which well, is, I think that's the biggest mm, complaint around yeah, any Santa yeah. experience is um, the queues are nightmare. Because that nightmare. takes the good out of it right away really for the does, kids, you know, yeah. so especially if it's cold and you're, you're queuing for stuff. Yeah, so daddy they, gets grumpier and grumpier yeah, as the queue. And, <laughs> so that's it, exactly. Um, and mum has to put up with them. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, yeah, so what they do here is they, they have, uh, you know, the Disney characters again. They've got Sparkle the Christmas tree you can go and make your wish once you can go and write your letter to Santa at the post office. Um, you can go into the kitchen with um, help Mrs. Claus to make um, make Christmas pudding and um, Christmas cake. Uh, again, again, you know, so really it's really interactive. Stuff, you know, indoor and outdoor as well. So there's a little bit of everything there. Brilliant. Okay, we have to give Thunderland a mention, of course. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas it's an without institution Thunderland. At this Absolutely. Stage, isn't yeah. It? I mean, again, I know I've said it already. It's got bigger as well, and it's gone outdoors as well. It's got an ice skate um, att uh, attraction now um, outside. So two different things to do. Um, you know, there's a whole day, uh, three to four hours, the, the pass will cover. Um, it's 25 euros for a four hour pass if you book okay. online. Um, so so uh, it's better value for money if you book online, book is online, it? Book online, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can pay as you go, but it makes more sense to buy the wristband and you've got to, uh, four hours if you book online. Okay, um, and then you're for covered that. for most things exactly. inside. Yeah, um, okay. most things except the, you know, the side, side shows and stuff. Okay. Um, so that's, that's really good. Um, uh, when does again. Funderland kick off? It's on now. Oh, it started uh, it's on already. now until the 11th of this, uh, January. Okay. Yeah, so um, Christmas has begun. And it certainly has all over the country. And last but not least, uh, Glow in Cork. Glow, again, uh, another favourite. And um, Glow is all based on the, the backdrop of Grand Parade um, and Bishop Lucy Park. So this year they've got the, uh, the pop-up in uh, the night before Christmas, um, a pop-up kind of um, a show. So you walk through Bishop Lucy Park, it takes about 20 minutes, um, and you're actually in the in a scrapbook, if you like, or oh. a storybook. So it's supposed to be lovely. It takes 20 minutes. Um, apart from that, then you've got, you know, the English market beside you there, um, and you've got uh, 3D light shows and live music and all of that kind of stuff. And lots of opportunity to pick up little stocking fillers Absolutely. or last-minute presents. I mean, if you can't buy a Christmas present in the English market, you may throw your hat at it. Absolutely, yeah. And what about the cost on that, I mean? Um, so everything, everything at Glow, well, most things are free. Um, okay. You know, there'd be the odd thing that you'd have admission to, but again, it's to, for families. Most of the activities are free. Okay. I know you've put all of the extra details on your website, the times, the costs, all of the opening yeah, days. Yeah, absolutely. Funforall.ie forward slash TV3. TV3. And they're all there. Into the TV3 section. Yes. So Christmas is well and truly here, Damien. Yeah, absolutely. Looking <laughs> forward to it. Thank you very much, as Thank always. You, Anna. Looking very festive in your well, red jumper, indeed. Now let's go over to Geraldine.